What are we at now? Twenty-five minutes, basically, and we're at a little less than 80 degrees. Actually, I have capacitors here. Um, a capacitor <laughs> So uh, usually there's goggles out here. For some reason, there aren't right now. So I'm going to do this without goggles. What I have here is a bunch of capacitors. Basically, each of these little capacitors, it's a little cylinder. What somebody's done is they've taken two plates, just like these, just like these two plates. They've taken two plates, two pieces of metal, foil is what they really probably use. They've separated them with an insulator so electric charge can't get back and forth between those two. And then they've rolled this up and packaged it and folded it and whatever and stuffed it into this little, uh, this little cylinder. So this little cylinder actually contains gigantic massive plates. Each of these cylinders does. And there's a bunch of them in here. So this adds up to really, really big gigantic metal plates that you can put a lot of electrons on. And so I'm hoping that that's what happens. Supposed to happen. <laughs> so I have to turn this up slowly. Um, one of the reasons I wanted to show you that you can charge up some <coughs> big capacitors and then get the energy back again is that a lot of electronic devices that have that use a lot of power um, are built with capacitors in them. And what you're going to find out, what we're going to find out here is that even when I disconnect these capacitors from the wall, there's going to be a lot of energy inside. And so the energy in a capacitor in some electronic device that you, some high powered electronic device, you might think, oh, if that, uh, if this thing is un unplugged from the wall, then I'm okay. But if it's got a capacitor in it, you may not be okay when it's in unplugged from the wall. And so if you start reaching around in the back and your hands actually go across the ends of a capacitor, you might find out that that capacitor is charged. And it might kill you. So. So be careful <laughs> with the uh, high power electronic devices. So right now this this right now this is off that's disconnected. So can I get the energy back again? And I have a, there's a tiny little wire, there's a little filament. So I want to light up this filament. And I, I told you that usually I would, usually there would be goggles there and I would be use, use goggles. And so that gives you a hint that, that it's lighting up the filament is a, is a mild word for what might happen here. Um, but let's see, let's discharge this capacitor over this tiny little wire. Okay, so, so if you try to put a gigantic uh, current through a tiny little wire, what happens? Thermal energy 
thermal energy really fast, something gets really hot really fast and it basically explodes. I'm, I'm a little suspicious that we're not finished, that maybe it, it uh, gave it up before, before it got all the electrons off of there. So let's find out. Okay, it's almost done. I'm going to do the rest of it the easy way. All right, we're all good. Um, so, <laughs> capacitors can be dangerous. I'm going to short this one out just in case. Because I don't want anyone to walk over here and casually put your hand on it and find out that it's just not quite finished discharging yet. Um, there's that little filament that exploded twice. And, and that charge getting shoved through it is the reason that it exploded. Yeah? What kind of electrical devices are going to be, like, you said that we have to be careful when we're messing around with some or whatever. So which um, generally, things with high power, um, it, there, there are capacitors in lots of things, but most things are low power devices, so the capacitors aren't going to hurt you any. Like capacitors in discussion lab that you use are not going to hurt you any uh, because you only use a battery to charge them. So, you know, you could put your hand across a battery just like you can put your hand across that capacitor. There I used, well, this one was, I used 200 volts to charge that one. So, so I was pushing as, as hard as I could figure out how to push. Uh, to get a lot of electrons on that thing. I wanted to point out that the voltage difference <coughs> um, depends on the charge. Q here <coughs> is the magnitude of the negative charge, which also equals the magnitude of the positive charge. There's the same amount of charge on each plate, just opposite amounts. So that's why I said a, com a capacitor basically separates charge. Yeah? What's the difference in P? Is the difference in, oh, CAP, capacitor. Uh, it's the difference in voltage between A and B, between the two plates of the capacitor. You put more charge on. There's a bigger voltage difference across the capacitor. If I, what I did was I slowly turned up the voltage here. What took me so long while I was yakking was I was just slowly turning up the voltage here and so slowly putting charge on these, on the two plates of the capacitor. What are we at? 32? two minutes and 74 degrees. <laughs>